there are different types of fascia in your body. First, you have something called superficial fascia. Your superficial fascia, you'll find it right underneath your skin. And all you have to do is pinch and you'll get that fatty layer, right? You can find it on your triceps. Oh, it feels different here. Pinch it on your face. It feels different here. The superficial fascia is different depending on where it is on your body. Your forehead, fatty layer, very, very thin compared to, well, your tush fascia. Then we have the next layer underneath that, which I'm going to skip, and we're going to go to the deepest layer called deep fascia. So your deep fascia, like your IT band would be considered a deep fascia. Your thoracolumbar fascia would be considered a deep fascia. This fascia is very organized. It's not springy and, and gooey like your superficial fascia. Then there's an intermediate layer between the superficial and the deep fascia. And you can find that by grabbing a pinch. This is my forearm. And then trying to slide that pinch north, south, east, west, or even twist, ring, or pluck at it. And what you're getting at here is what's called the loose fascia layer or the fascial interface. This is a layer that permits slide from one zone to another. So we have superficial fascia, we have loose fascia, we also have deep fascia, but then we have myofascia. What's myofascia? So to describe myofascia, I'll bring in my friend, also known as my husband, who's going to help us to figure out how to describe myofascia. So each one of our fingers are actually individual muscle cells magnified like 10,000 X. Then you'll use a elastiband and wrap around each individual muscle cell. So at this level, the fascia wrapping around the muscle cell is called the endomesium. Then the, these muscle cells that are wrapped in their endomesial fascia are further wrapped by the same fascia. And this is called paramecium. And at this level, when these cells are bonded together with their endomesium, they're squoze together by this next level of fascia. We call this a perifascia, or, or rather a paramecium. When these fascicles come together, they're wrapped yet again by epimesium. So at this stage, we actually have a myofascial structure, but that myofascial structure might be reinforced by even more fascia, deep fascia, but really what we have now is a myofascia. So when you hear somebody talk about a muscle, a muscle is always a myofascia. It's muscle cells plus fascia. Although we can have fascia, we can have superficial fascia that does not have muscle, but a myofascia always has muscle. And this is how you get a fascia family.